Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today I posted that Microsoft has agreed to fix an issue for the login screen in Windows um, to retain the date and time on the login screen after you dismiss the Windows login screen and I'll leave that video down below. Now the reason I'm mentioning that is because in our first dev channel Windows 11 Insider Preview Build for this year, Build 23612, one of the main features that Microsoft is focusing on is a richer weather experience on the lock screen. So obviously Microsoft now starting to give the lock screen in Windows quite a lot of attention. And this is the key highlight for the latest dev build 23612. Now just to backtrack quickly, in the stable version of Windows 11, if we head over to our settings, personalization, and we scroll down to where we get lock screen. Yeah, you'll see a setting called lock screen status. Choose an app to show detailed status on the lock screen. So you can choose none or you can choose weather. And then if we just head over to our lock screen quickly and I'll just lock my device. There we go. Here's the weather here at the bottom. A little widget that gives you the highs and lows and if there's rain expected and so on. Now this is what Microsoft is changing now. And upgrading and improving, which I actually quite like the improvements they're making in build 23612. So if we just quickly head back into my OS and we head over to a screenshot from that announcement, here we can see on the lock screen in this latest dev channel build, there's a couple of improvements that Microsoft has made to that little weather experience or widget on the lock screen, where Microsoft says, um, this richer weather experience on the lock screen now includes dynamic interactive weather updates. So how this is all going to work is when you hover over the weather uh, widget or experience as they call it on your lock screen, you will see more information. So yeah, we can see a little bit more information compared to the widget I just showed you. And they carry on to say when you tap or click on the weather card and sign in, um, Edge opens with the full forecast in MSN weather. Now, this new experience they mentioned will be on by default. And if you don't want to see this um, new widget on your lock screen, you can change your lock screen status to none, as I showed you just now. And um, this uh, rich weather experience is available when you lock your screen, no matter which personalization option you select, which is either Windows Spotlight, Picture or Slideshow, which I actually think is a nice move. So if you're using Spotlight, Picture or Slideshow, um, this little weather widget or new weather experience, richer weather experience as Microsoft is calling it, um, will appear regardless if you have it enabled on your lock screen. And I actually like the look of that. I think that's a nice little move in the right direction. So obviously, Microsoft has already now started focusing on that lock screen with this new um, improvement in the dev channel build for this week. Now, some other new features include voice access improvements where voice access is going to be getting extended languages, multi-display support and custom commands. Now, I'm not going to feature that in this video because I posted quite a lengthy video uh, earlier today with the latest Canary channel build 26020 where we had a more in-depth look at those voice access improvements and I'll leave that video down below because it'll give you all the information you need if you would be interested in the extended languages, multi-display support, and custom commands for voice access. Now, another change and improvement, which has already rolled out to the stable version, but is kind of making its way across all uh, the different channels of Windows 11, is if we head over to the system page and we scroll down, uh, optional features now has been moved onto this um, page in settings and gets its own page in the settings on the system a menu and page where optional features previously listed under settings apps has moved to its own page under settings system as we can see and that now also applies uh, to the dev channel for this week and then that's more or less what's new and changes and improvements and then we get a couple of fixes we get one fix for the start menu two fixes for file explorer two fixes for widgets and then because it is relatively early days uh, in the dev channel we also get a couple of known issues which is common in these e early preview versions of windows 
in the Insider Program. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.